Alright, hi guys, DFX Pictures here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Minecraft server using Bucket. Alright, now the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your internet browser. And go to B-U-K-K-I-T dot O-R-G. Now that you're at the website, you're going to want to download the latest recommended build. Alright, now you're going to go to your downloads folder and keep it open. Next, you're going to create a new folder on your desktop called Minecraft Server. Alright, now in this new folder, you're going to put what you've downloaded from bucket.org. Alright, now that you have your craft bucket in your new Minecraft server folder you created, you're going to hit new, text document, and call it more RAM. Alright, now you're going to open up that text document, and you're going to copy and paste this from the video description. Alright, now there's a couple of variables here. If you're using 64-bit, then you're just going to get rid of the brackets in the x86. And if you're using 32-bit, just leave it alone. If you don't know, just leave it alone. Alright, so now right here, these between these numbers, is how much RAM you want to use. I'm just going to keep it at half a gig, because that's all I want to use. Alright, also, by the time you probably watch this video, the title's going to change. So what you're going to do is you're going to delete this. You're going to go to your actual craft bucket server. And you're going to rename, copy, paste, and add a dot .jar no file and hit save. Now that it's saved, you're going to hit file, save as all files and make this a dot bat save what this allows you to do is open it with minecraft with more ram so now that you're able to open minecraft with more ram on here you're gonna change some of the server properties I'm just gonna wait for this to finish Alright, now that it's finished, I'm going to close it. Now, you s now you're going to open server properties. So just right click on it. And go to open. And you're going to open it with notepad. Alright. So now that this server port is 25565, you might want to remember that. So you might want to copy and paste it. Alright. So now that's the server IP section is blank. What you're going to put in here is your actual internal IP address. If you don't know your internal IP address, this is how you can find it out. Hit start. CMD. And hit enter. Alright. Now you're going to type IP config. And what you want to type in there is your IPv4 address. So I'll type in mine right now. I'll hit file and save. Alright, so now if, once you want people to be able to play on your server, you're gonna need to you're gonna need to open the port two five five six five. Now this varies on many routers, so you might want to watch a tutorial on your own router, but I'll show you how you do it on my router. So open up your internet browser and type in your default gateway. If you don't know your default gateway, you can get it from the IP config command. <coughs> 
So I'll type mine in. Alright. Hit enter. You can put in your password. I don't have a password on mine. Hit the advanced tab. Port forwarding. Put in the name you want. I have Minecraft as the name. I have my IPv4 address. And I have the and I have the ports I want open, which is 25565 and 25565. Oh, then you're going to hit save settings. In most routers, you'll, it will be required for you to have a reboot. I'm not going to reboot because I don't want to have to restart this video. Alright, so now that you're done that, and your port's forwarded, people will be able to connect to your server. So now what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Minecraft server with the more RAM. Alright, and now that your Minecraft server is done loading, you can make a test to make sure that you can play on it. Alright, so you're going to open up your own Minecraft client. Alright, so now you're going to want to sign in. Alright, now you're going to go to multiplayer and you can connect. You can connect to just, you can type in your own internal IP if you just want to test it by yourself. But in order for other people to test it, you're going to need to send them your external IP. Now if you don't know your external IP, it's as simple as looking up what's my IP in Google and it will tell you. I'm not going to do it because obviously I don't want to show you guys my IP. But I'll just type in my internal one so you can see that it works. And as you can see, it works. I'm not OP, so I can't break blocks. Alright, that's it, guys. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know to comment, rate, and subscribe to our videos. Thanks. Bye.